Hey there and welcome back. So today we are starting off in the train room. Now, I did this video a um, a while ago. I think it's probably at least about a year ago. But you know what? I just wanted to revisit this video because I do think that it's, it's a great one to just like, you know, redo. And um, at some point, like, maybe like once a year or something like that, you may see, you know, like a little repeat of a video. But I think it's like... I do think it's a good one because, um, you know, it's people scrolling back and stuff like that, you know, uh, watching like content what's just been put out. And I thought, just again, it's a great little reminder and uh, just a great way to show you how important certain little parts um, of the hobby, especially if, to, if there's anybody new um, and they're just having a bit of a look through. I just thought this would be a really, really good little video. So what we're going to do today, as you've seen in the title, is we're just going to go on or talk just a little bit about um, cleaning on the track. Now, I think I put it under maintenance last time. So, yeah, I'll, as you've seen, this is a, a different name. Um, but, yeah, I just want to show how important it is, you know, after, say, you've got your start, say, you've got your layout, you know, just to keep it clean. Now, what I normally use, where is it? Ah, here it is. It's just something like this. This is just a basic track rubber. Dead easy, just a few pounds, great. And let's just quickly head down to the track. Right, so on the track, we are going to use this little train for today. Now, spoiler alert, this is, this is one I'm going to look at in the future to review because this is a cracking little train. So. Let's just turn the power up on this. And you see there, just moved a little bit. I'm just going to leave the power as it is. Let's give it a bit of a... So see how it's juddering? And it's not really moving properly. i just turn the power up more. Let's try it the other way. So you can see that it did get moving, but you could hear it just was not happy. Uh, come on. It's going there, but you can see that it's just constantly stopping. That is not a happy locomotive whatsoever. So I'll just take that off the track for now. Now this one has been cleaned. So if you look at the rails, you can see there they look nice and shiny. Well, let's just give this little bit a bit of a buff up just so you can see a bit better. I well, see you've got the nice little bit of a shine there. Now if you go to this track, let me just try and find out where it is. So if we see here, I don't know if it will come across the best on the camera, so I'll do as good as I can with this. But on here, you've got little marks, little like black pieces on this. And all that is, is that's just all the muck and dirt what gets transferred between the train wheels and then the track. So one of these is bad. Um, any one of these, whether that be on the train or on the track, but a combination of both of these results in a locomotive going like that. I mean, a lot of dirt on the wheels will do that, but the worst combination is on both. So, if we just quickly go back to this, so this is the little bit I'm going to do. I'll just give that a quick little clean. You can see how little time that takes, and look at the difference between that little section and then that section there so you've got a nice clean shiny track there and as you can see this one it's a little bit on the dirty side so just to show you if we do that and look at the difference that that has made just with using a little bit of a track rubber so heading back to this locomotive and a little bit more what we're going to do today so on this, if we turn it over, we have a good look at it. If you see on the wheels, there is loads, especially on this one here. This one is absolutely filthy. See all the marks on there? That is all the muck, all the rubbish, because it's electrical. Basically the electric charge going through the rails, through the locomotive. It's just like a magnet for dirt. So, we will take this away 
I'll show you a couple of little ways to clean it. So we're going to show you how the wheels look beforehand. As you'll see, a little bit when I've got the when I've got the camera and the train a little bit more stable. So we'll show you them beforehand. We'll show you them after, and you've seen the way it was running on this track. And then we will show you what it's going to run like by the time that we are finished with it. So let's take it to the desk. Let's get the little bits that we need. We'll show I'll show you again uh, what I use, what we need, and yeah, let's get this locomotive working absolutely amazingly again. Right, so all we are going to use is something like this. Now you can get this as a pair. I just got the one for now because I just wanted this part of the brush. Well, basically you connect that to your positive side, you connect the other one to the negative side, and that means that when your loco is off the track, you can touch the wheels, it will turn the wheels on clean at the same time, and these are brilliant. But yeah, I just got this single one because I just wanted this little bit of the brush, so we have that. The next thing that we've got is some good old fashioned cotton wool buds. Now, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, the stuff what I use is called brake cleaner. Now, uh, the environment that I work in, I'm, I'm used to it. I've used it for years for as part of my job, but um, it is brilliant at getting rid of muck and dust because it is a uh, degreaser now I know I think some people use um, like an IPA solution so you can use that but um, but yeah as I said I'm just used to using that you know you don't have to use on you don't have to necessarily use anything like that you know if you've got say something like this like a wire brush then you can perfectly clean the wheels without using any kind of um, like chemicals should I say some something like that um because it does give off an odor you do have to be careful with it and do it in a well ventilated room so oh my god we've upgraded from knocking the camera to just plain kicking it wow <laughs> so if we look at this we can see here especially if i tilt it that way see all that lovely black muckiness on there yeah so we need to get all of that off that's what's going to cause the problems with running and one cool thing if you look at the wheels see this you kind of got like a bit of a line and that is basically the normal area where the loco where the train is going to be running i mean the wheels as you know they do move side to side like that so it does change but yeah so that's where the train will typically run a straight track and how you can see it's pushing and building up all of that wonderful dirt and grime so another thing that you can do as well i did leave it um, by the track but the track rubber you can use the track rubber and that is a great way of cleaning these up too especially if you say pop a groove into it or you get one that's got more squared edges because i know there's different makes of different types then you can get this off just as good so for now all we are going to do is i'm just going to change this a bit slightly because obviously i am doing this through the camera and i'm just going to gently give this a good little rub down just like that and if you look at that you can see already the difference that has made we've got that lovely shine back onto the wheels absolutely wonderful now um, I'm just going to carry on doing this. As you know, I uh, give the little bit of a scenic what I made uh, to my dad to pop a couple of his locomotives on because we've got the other little bit that we use now. Um, but a good little thing is that when you're cleaning um, or doing something like this, now I know sometimes people say may touch a, a battery or they've got like another little controller that they'll pop onto the motor while they're doing this. Um, but I've not got that little setup, so what I like to do when I've got the area of the wheels cleaned um, that I want to. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either put or be very careful, and you can pop a low voltage battery across the two that will just turn the wheels, or simply pop it on your track, turn the voltage up nice and low, so it, the train, it, so the wheels are just moving relatively slowly, and then. 
and you can just crawl it along enough just to get to the rest of the wheels and this is cool because if you don't fancy doing it it saves you having to take all the body and everything off just to get to them and it does make it a lot better and a lot easier now let me just look at this i don't know if you can see but there's already a little bit of muck on that let's look at these wheels and look at the difference that's made already that is already going to run better and also the little flanges right here don't forget to do those as well because they can still get muck up and on them they will still pick up from the track because as you look obviously the track sits here but as the wheel as it's going round you know the flanges are obviously what holds it on and they will get moved around so don't forget to clean those too because you want especially with a train as small as this one you want it to pick up just as good as you can on all parts of the track so what i'm going to do i'll finish the rest of this off on camera well because you don't want to see me doing that that would be really boring and I'm kind of try not to do that with my videos if i can help it but yeah so i'll clean this off to one side and then i'll come back and then we'll show you the difference right then so as you can see look at how clean nice and shiny all those wheels are now there is one thing that we can do as you see i've got a little cotton wool bud, wool bud there so what i am going to do is i've just dipped it in the in the uh the brake clean what i'm using now i'm gonna to have to try and hold this a little bit funny obviously for copyright reasons but let me just try and get this on here there we go Ooh. so wheels are running a little bit there we go so you can just run this along and even though i have cleaned these see there there is still some muck left on so i just wanted to show you that so even after you know you've given them that really good clean you know don't forget to give them just another little go over just like this because you will still get just a little bit of surface dust off them and obviously you want to get it off the rest of the locomotive and as you can see there you know just goes to show how much is on them now one thing i did forget to mention is different trains pick up in different ways now typically you have a little metal connectors that touch on the back of the wheels on both sides this is how it gets its power so as you are cleaning these you also want to give these a good clean as well because they will get muck there and then same with that one as you can see there is some dirt coming off let me just turn this around because obviously you you want your trains to be absolute you know you want them to be nice and clean just so they run better than see the little bit of muck and everything on there because obviously you know you want them running better you want them running nice and then you're not kind of <laughs> getting frustrated when they stop starting they're not running properly so uh so yeah so right now i did do the rest of this bit off camera but you can see there see all that muck so we are making this nice and clean so again i'm just going to finish this off just off camera i said i don't want to bore you too much with that side of things and then yeah let's get it back on the track and then let's see the difference that it makes so we'll see you in a second right then so as we can see uh, just quickly again come on there we go as we can see in this light especially see how nice and shiny those wheels are absolutely brilliant i'll pop this down on the track i have no recollection which way this is going to go so i'll turn up the controller nice and slowly and look at that Oh, this train was not doing this before you you saw it for yourselves it would not do this and look at that absolutely fantastic wonderfully wonderfully slow and controlled we're not having to get it absolutely racing round as it shows me up thank you <laughs> Ah, there is a little bit of dirt on that track. Well, I mean, you saw it was working first off. 
but yeah so this is working really really nicely compared to the way that it was before and it's really showing me up yeah there must be something on ah uh, yeah there's a hang on a second so where did I put that thing do you know, I can't remember where I put the track rubber now I thought I left it there oh well but <laughs> yeah I can see on that bit that there is a load of dirt on a track because the second that I put it here where I did clean the track as you can see it's working absolutely wonderfully so yeah let's just pop it on this little section see there you go even over the points which is what I was trying to show you ah there we have it fantastic you mean little train you making all these people think I'm not got it right when I have so uh, <laughs> so what we'll do let's just send it around <clears throat> oh dear I do apologize I am kind of still recovering a little bit from the old chest infection but I'd say we are pretty much almost there and I think that's coupled hang on I'm gonna to have to check bring in the hand of God right that seems okay and apart from one bit being off the track on one of the wagons I'll sort that out when it comes round can we do this while it's moving uh, yeah ha -ha, there we go and as you can see absolutely perfect just how we want all of our models to run and away it goes fantastic so we'll leave we'll turn this up just a touch so it's coming back round nicely and yeah so hopefully you've liked and enjoyed this video hopefully it's not been too much on the boring side for you guys I really hope I've tried to make it a little bit interesting and yeah let me know what you think so make sure your tracks clean make sure your train wheels are clean and you should have very little problems and you will have them running as amazingly as that so we will leave it there and fantastic so thank you very much for watching make sure you clean those wheels and tracks um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this video thumbs up like and subscribe if you could that would be amazingly fantastic and yeah as always we shall see you in the next video